So you want to use Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, but your MacBook or your iMac is not powerful enough and you don't have a quad core processor. Well, I got another option that you can use streaming software and it works really great. You know, if you want to just use something just to get you going. What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. Woo! Creighton family! I'm back. What's going on? So, happy Saturday to everybody. So, I know a lot of people have been struggling with using Streamlabs OBS or they don't have, or OBS Studio, and they don't have a quad core processor on their MacBook or iMac, and you know, it's getting kind of tough. So, I do have another software you can use to get you going just, just in case until you get yourself built up into uh you know a stronger processor a better macbook imac you know if you can continue to stay with mac unless you just buy yourself a pc so the better option action is if you own the hd60 uh s or hd60s capture card just use the elgato uh hd capture it is still good in 2020 there's some good things about it some things are like i ah, probably need some improvement but we're going to talk about that in today's video so let's go on over there to the elgato hd so now we're going to move over here to the uh, the Elgato HD software. This is the software that you have to download when you get your HD60 or HD60S S, S Plus. So check it out. You know, this is a viable dual source. I used to use it before Streamlabs even came to Mac OS and, you know, stuff like that. Because I, I didn't really want to set up on OBS and I just wanted to wait for Streamlabs. But I used to use Elgato. So the ups and downs about this, it, it might need an improvement, but, you know, you could, it still works. So check it out right here we're gonna go through it real quick it's the cap game capture hd and you see everything else is going through you know you know running at real time but let's come over here right here to the side as you see you got capture and edit so when you set up you got you got you leave it on capture you can actually edit right in here too so i know some people that actually use this software and they edit right in here and you got everything that you really need so you know if you click on the little edit option you can see this is where your videos will be displayed you can share them after you edit it you know just something else that if you want to learn um let's go back to the capture side you have your settings here's what i have my settings set to enable flashback recording we'll talk about that in one second use foot switch to toggle yeah you, know, you don't need that on enable stream command you know because you can also use this hd60 capture with your ipad your iphone you want to do some mobile gaming so this does all alternative work and works well so it has a lot of features in there you know use 1080p software update checks this icon right here is you know this is just about the game card um, hd here's right here it tells you what capture card is plugged in yeah you see you can you know screen link or whatever whatever you were using here's some more settings so mine set to playstation 4 obviously i'm playing on playstation 4 but you know they haven't updated this in a while so a lot of the stuff you might see on here is kind of old some things that we have like iphone 5 and iphone 4s and older like who still has one of those now if you still have one of those it's sad you might you might want to upgrade so uh but the ipad you know going from there so i had that i have input hdmi when you play with with analog audio in that means that you're playing with the elgato chat link cable so that's what that means as you can probably hear it coming through right now right now we're gonna turn that off because you know ain't that copyright but you know you got standard expanded you want to play expanded profile 1080p allows 60 fps quality to me i set my quality on just a little bit above better you don't want to go too high because then you know it starts moving this stuff down here you don't have to select we're just going through it real quick if you want to crop anything we don't need to allow 60 fps to for video preview you got your game audio that comes in right here live stream when you know you know whatever you're going to twitch or YouTube. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch already, I'll put it right here, Creighton TV. Go follow me because I might be on live stream where you guys can help and participate in the next upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. But you know, here's right here where you type your um, status of what you're playing, your server, maximum resolution, everything else. This is your bit rate of how your internet and upload speed is. You guys already know mine is for that, but I usually bring mine down to like four. I could play it because I got that high, well, especially if you have high you know, speed internet, you know, you don't want to go too high. So the Elgato HD capture, you know, software, it does have ups and downs, you know, hasn't been in, updated in a while, but it still works, still works. Uh, instant, I don't know why my player's not there, but hey, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I'll also be on the lookout, you know, they do got this tournament coming up. You know who Lachlan is? He's the top Fortnite creator. You know, everything else. He got his little things. He can win the skin. So 
Stay tuned for that coming out on November the 8th. Live commentary. And I use my audio input for my Elgato, I mean, not Elgato, my HyperX Quadcast microphone. You can change your levels of that so you don't be peaking. But right now that's not going to show up because I'm using it to screen record. You can automatically reduce the game sound if you want to when you start talking and everything. So it brings the game down, game audio down as you're playing. And then once you stop, you know, it brings the game audio back up. That's actually a good feature. So, you know, if you want to be having you no know, commentary and or, or you reacting to something, the Elgato HD capture card software, it works really great. So, you know, they all have their little own settings, how you want to set it, everything else. Down here, you get your tags of a video of whatever game you're going to play, you know, coming through there. That's just the basics. So let's get over here to this stream command. This is your stream command. Normally it comes like this, you know, so you don't have to see it. But when you get the stream command, they also have different like little layouts and previews how you want it. So you got to turn my camera on and go through, you can set it up. You can also add extra in there, but I'll save that for another video because that takes time to like set up and create your own. And I don't really got that much time to do all that. So, you know, just a little quick, but this, I used to use this. I'm not gonna lie, I used to use this. I used to put myself right here. You can either create your own, um, how I would put myself right here or right here. It all depends on how it would, like, cause this you can actually add, you can edit these tags. You know, you put your YouTube, your Twitch, your Instagram, so people can follow. You can add a, edit this and just, more steps and process that you have to take just to get there. Yeah, this this is cool. Now you got record when you're when you're live streaming on whatever Twitch, YouTube, Facebook gaming. You got your live commentary. Make sure when you go live, you do hit the commentary button so the mic can come in. Because if you don't hit that, then you, nobody will be able to hear you. But see this little blue line right here? This is your flashback recording. So say you're just streaming, right? You're streaming, you know, having a good time, playing with your friends, you know, and you had a highlight, but you didn't hit record. That's the good thing about the HD uh, capture card. It has flashback recording. You can just record, rewind that little part, hit record, record what you need, and there you go. You know, save your video, send it to your thing. You can either edit it, edit it on the Elgato software or just edit it um, in Final Cut Pro, iMovie, you know, whatever, making little game highlights. That's the good thing about it. I do like that. Now, if they bring that feature to Streamlabs, ooh-wee, I'll be excited. I'll, it might be there. I don't know. I might have to do some double check. But if you know if it's there or not, let me know in the comment section. That'd be really appreciated. You know, it might be there on OBS. I don't know. So don't quote me on that. But I do like that feature in Elgato HD software. The only downfall that things I don't like about Elgato um, HD software is when you're streaming, or anything you can't see your chat you can't see who's talking to you responding you know people could pop into your stream say hey what's up you can't see them so now your only alternate is you either use if you have an extra phone or use your phone to read chat from like your youtube or your twitch or your facebook gaming or if you have an ipad you have to go to your actual like, like your stream you know turn the volume down because you don't want to have the uh, two microphones peak with each other so turn the volume down on the ipad and then or your phone and you can pull up your stream chat from there and watch at least at least you can see everything that is going on. So you be like, oh, okay, now I got it. No, my stream is working good and everything else. So you can see what people are saying. That's the only downfall. So if they did update Elgato software, could be it could be nice, but I doubt they're gonna do that. So you ain't gotta worry. But but this, this is just an alter alternative if you can't use you know Streamlabs or OBS and you don't have a quad core processor. Now still to this day, every now and then I still do use Elgato uh, HD capture, even though it's outdated and I just use my iPad to look at chat. I still use it. Me, hey, it gets the job done. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to just power up Streamlabs, and then sometimes the audio drops, especially using the uh, the capture card of the HD 60s. So you be playing, 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 be good. Everything's in real time, and the next minute, audio just drop out of nowhere, and then pop back in. That's annoying because then that means you got to do more editing just to really line up your video and everything. And that's I ain't got that much time to do all that. But that's if you want to have the time, you really want to do all that. You know, just give it a try. You know, if you used it before and you hated it, try it out again. See what you think about it. You know, especially if you don't, you can't run Streamlabs properly and you don't have a quad core processor. You mean quad means four, four or higher to run Streamlabs or OBS correctly. Yeah. Or you can, you know, um, you go to the Windows side on the Mac or the iMac, you know, because I do let you do that, download Windows on these Macs, but I don't know how to do that. 
I'm not going to do that to mine. Don't want to mess it up. That being said, but the Elgato um, HD software does have a lot of controls. You know, down here, this right here shows you where it shows the minutes. That just shows you how long you've been running the software and everything else, how much gigabyte free you, you have space left and everything else. So, like, I can be streaming. Say I'm streaming, right? That's the controller. Say I'm streaming. I'm playing. Da, 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 da. Oh, getting highlights. And then I look down. I didn't hit it. And I never recorded. And I wanted to get the highlight. All I do is re rewind it back. That's what flash what flashback recording means. You rewind it back, hit record, and it starts recording and playing off right there. And then you just wait, hit stop, and hit bam, go back from there. That's 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 a real good uh, feature. So if they bring that to Streamlabs, Streamlabs, bring that to uh, um, Streamlabs OBS, flashback recording. We need that. And now if it's there, I'm going to look for it. And hopefully I can bring you guys a video on that. But that'll be a great option. We need that. So you can just be streaming and then you just go back and just record some of a highlight that you need and you want to get. This is the Elgato HD, Elgato Game Capture HD. You know, hopefully they do make an update to it and bring out new capture cards because you know next gen consoles are coming, like the Xbox and the PlayStation 5. So stay tuned for those because we're on the hunt for those. You know, I didn't pre order them. So I'm going to try to get them on launch day, like the Xbox is on Tuesday. So I'm going to just. Uh, I'll try to see if I can order it on, on launch day. If not, I'll, I, I have no problem waiting to Black Friday. That's, that's fine. I'm going to get the console. It's best believe. So I'll be bringing you guys the videos to that. I'm going to get the um, the Xbox. I'm still undecided. I might just get the dig digital because I don't really play Xbox like that. Sorry for my Xbox people out there. I'm just, I'm more of a PlayStation guy. I always had PlayStation. I've been having PlayStation since Sony, PlayStation 1 and everything else. I never really cared really for the Xbox. I tried it one time. and I, I, I think it was a, what, an Xbox 360. Oh, but with that being said, yeah, so let me know what you think about the eight Game Capture HD. I keep saying Elgato, but it is Elgato, but it's called Elgato Game Capture HD. Do you still use this? You know, you can edit videos on here after you record and everything. They fit, they do land off right here in this part right here. So this is where you can edit them down, trim them down, and export. Hey, it still works. You can still send it to your phone, Apple TV, iPhone, email. That's also also a good alternative. 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 Can't even speak. You know what I mean. But, hey, so let me know how you feel about the Game Capture HD. Still works. Maybe we'll get an update. Probably not. But Streamlabs, if we can, Streamlabs or OBS, can we get a flashback recording feature? Because if we can, woo, that would be great. Because, you know, you know, because I know this is never going to come and bring you know, where you can read chat. That's, that's not going to happen. Hey, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody's on the budget. But that being said, I hope you did enjoy this video. This is the Game Capture HD. It's still viable in 2020. Yeah. I still use it every now and then, but I'm still working on Streamlabs. But we can get that flashback feature. So, but I still be using Streamlabs, and all uh, there was an update for Streamlabs OBS. If you haven't done, downloaded that yet, so you might want to update your uh, Streamlabs. Next gen consoles are on the way. Woo! So the Xbox, I probably just get the digital. Maybe I get the black one. I don't know. If I do, I probably get that and then take it back. <laughs> yeah, take it back to uh, GameStop and you know and buy something else. But that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Creighton family, welcome. So if you're new here and you like this like this type of videos and you want to be a part of the Creighton family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. Like this video, share this video around. The other than that, Creighton family, we continue to go on to the top. We're on our way to the next milestone, 2,500 subscribers. And then 5,000 subscribers, we'll be giveaways through those milestones. And as we keep going, the more giveaways coming. Maybe I'll even give away the next gen console. I don't know. I'm not saying nothing yet, but stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Hmm.